Hey, we're here at the San Dimas Car Show and you never know what's gonna show up here. And with me is Cookout Kelly. Yep, hot diggity dog. We're glad to be here today in San Dimas. And Kelly, you brought out your Wienermobile. Tell me about the Wienermobile. Well, you see a 27 foot long hot dog on wheels. Now, what's it built on? Sure, that's a great question. It's actually built on a Chevy chassis, and it's got a big old V8 engine in there. Love it. Now, how about the interior? What's that like? Well, we don't have a sunroof in the Wienermobile, but we do have a bun roof. There aren't seat belts, but we've got meat belts for you. And there's always blue skies. We've got a bright blue um, sky in the Wienermobile, a little ketchup and mustard spilled on the floor, so it's pretty fun in there. That is awesome. Now, tell me about some of the shows you guys hit. Yeah, sure. We do all sorts of parades, events, and festivals. This definitely has to be one of the coolest. You know, usually the Wienermobile is the coolest car there, and I still think we are here today, but we certainly are in good company. Love it. Now, the wheels on the car, do you know anything about those? Well, what I can tell you is that there are actually six wheels. We have dualies in the back, so we really haul buns. You guys are just so awesome. I remember back in the day when I was a little kid, and I used to get those original Oscar Mayer wiener whistles. Do you guys have any of those with you today? Sure. You mean one of these Oscar Mayer wiener whistles? One of those. Anytime you see the Wienermobile and catch up with us, you get your very own Oscar Mayer wiener whistle. Now, Kelly, is there a particular theme song you can sing for me today? The jingle, which started in 1963, uh, starts off like this. <whistles> oh, I wish I were an Oscar Mayer wiener. That's what I truly want to be. Cause if I was an Oscar Mayer wiener, everyone would be in love with me. Isn't that great, guys? Let's get back to this car show, and I'm going to go out and check out all these other wieners that are out here. <laughs> Bye! Catch up with us soon! Now, before we check out some of these other great cars, a little history for all of you Wienermobile fans. Oscar Mayer was a German immigrant who came to Chicago in the 1870s. And in 1936, Oscar Mayer's nephew, Karl Mayer, came up with the idea of a Wienermobile. It was 13 feet long and began cruising in the windy city of Chicago. They used it for delivering meats and for other community events. Over the years, there have been many different Wienermobiles and one is displayed at the Henry Ford Museum in Dearborn, Michigan. Many of you can remember enjoying your favorite children's shows seeing Little Oscar, the original Oscar Mayer mascot. The first Little Oscar was Meinhardt Robbie, who was an employee of Oscar Mayer before becoming Little Oscar, the world's smallest chef. At age 21, Meinhardt stood three foot six inches tall. While at Oscar Mayer, Meinhardt heard that MGM was looking for cast members to audition for The Wizard of Oz. He asked for a leave of absence, packed his bags, and headed for Hollywood where he landed the role of the coroner munchkin proclaiming the wicked witch is really most sincerely dead he then returned to oscar meyer as little oscar for 30 years and traveled around the country visiting markets schools hospitals and orphanages passing out thousands of the toy that every kid wanted the oscar meyer wiener whistle like this original 1960s whistle there were also other little Oscars to cover the four regions of the United States, as seen in this rare photo with Oscar Mayer. There was George Mulchen, the last little Oscar, who retired in 1987, Joe White, who was a magician with Barnum & Bailey Circus, Meinhardt Robbie, and another munchkin from The Wizard of Oz, Jerry Marin, who was one of the Lollipop Guild seen here in the middle. Since 1936 and still today, when the Wienermobile cruises into your neighborhood, the kids marvel at this hot dog on a bun vehicle. During the 1960s and still today, children and adults will sing and play their wiener whistles just like in this classic Oscar Mayer commercial. Class attention! Forward march! Oh, I'd love to be an Oscar Mayer wiener! If I were an Oscar Mayer wiener, everyone would be in love with me. A big parade is so inspiring. Oh, I'm glad I'm not an Oscar Mayer wiener. That is what I never want to be. Because if 
I wore a nut to my wiener. There would soon be nothing left to me. Oh, I love to be a Oscar Meyer wiener. wieners are all meat, all good meat, rich and complete meat protein, mildly seasoned to bring out all the good meat flavor. Everyone would be in love with me. Next week, you handle just the refreshments, Freddie. Today, Oscar Meyer is located in Madison, Wisconsin, and the Wienermobile is driven on the hot dog highway by hot doggers like Cookout Kelly. When you meet up with them, you get a free photo of yourself with the Wienermobile and the new Wiener Whistle. Now, like Cookout Kelly said, the Wienermobile is 27 feet long. That makes it 60 hot dogs long. It's 18 hot dogs wide, and 25 hot dogs high. That breaks down to 18 feet wide and 11 feet tall, and it weighs seven tons. They were built by GM in Janesville, Wisconsin, and the custom interior is done by Prototype Source in Santa Barbara, California. The Wienermobile is so popular that Mattel Toy Company came out with a series of Wienermobile Hot Wheels. Some of the other cool collectibles are the Wienermobile pedal cars, Beanie Babies, bread clips, Legos, and even a comic book. Thanks, Oscar Mayer, for the Wienermobile. Who knows? It may be the eighth wonder of the world. <laughs>